to start, though, tracking coronavirus for you tonight. This week marks one year since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. We have learned a lot in the last year, and for medical leaders, that feels like an understatement, I know. WATE.com reporter Austin Martin hears from healthcare experts about the leaps and bounds made in an effort to stop the spread. Yeah, in the past year, we've all learned a lot and changed how we do things from Zoom calls to masks to keeping our distance. Just about everything looks different. Some of the biggest changes this year, though, are in the way that healthcare providers respond to major events after a global health pandemic may have shown some points of weakness. Medical leaders here in East Tennessee say they're more prepared because of it. Thinking back to March and April, that seems like an eternity ago. 365 days. All of those things that we did in the past year, they make a lot of sense now, but when we were in the middle of it, we were learning as we went. Learning to adapt. The, uh, you know, this is, this was new. Uh, and this was a new virus and this is uh, our first time as a society navigating a pandemic on, on this scale during many of our lifetimes. A pandemic kept us apart, but brought us closer, not just as people, but as a community. Dr. James Shamaya with UT Medical Center says working together is what got us this far. When it's uh, clearly for the greater good for us to all be uh, working together as it was in this past year, uh, then uh, we have a great group of partners who were all very willing uh, to do that. But it wasn't easy. From testing, uh, if you if you remember, we had these very long turnaround times. So even when we were able to test, it was several days until we got results, and often the results were not as pertinent by the time we got those. And you know now we think a long turnaround time is two days to a vaccine. Uh, there, the ability to uh, get that vaccine developed, tested, proven safe, and deployed a true success and something that we should all be uh, very, very thankful for and proud of. Learning more and more every day. I really do feel like we've compressed about five years worth of learning and experience just into 12 months. Moving on. Those lessons will carry forward. Uh, how do you uh, quickly establish testing? Uh, how do you develop the vaccine? Those broader issues or those policy issues are are things that will need to be sorted through. To that new normal, we've heard so much about. For for us today, I think that it's um, just the knowledge that everybody has done their best to get, get us to this point in the, in the best way that we could. Now, Dr. Shamaya adds he thinks we will see some things carried forward, things like telehealth and partnerships between local hospitals. Medical experts also say it's important to remember as we mark this anniversary, we are not done fighting just yet. It's important to practice those five core actions and get vaccinated as soon as you can.